Actually, 25 years there was a real breakthrough. Breakthrough in the uh, understanding of the uh, possibility of the nuclear-free world in the future. And though the uh, agreement was not reached during this event, it showed the way and just uh, translated the idea into a practical political agenda. Unfortunately, the dividends of this event have not been put to full use since that time. Even today, there are practically roughly 23,000 nuclear weapons available in the world. The, uh, the amount of money spent on nuclear weapons in the year 2011 will reach fantastic amount of 105 billion dollars. This is something that if we, put, we have put this amount to be used for solution of water problem in the world, it would have taken just five years to uh, resolve the, these problems in the world. If we have put this to alleviate poverty in the world, we have taken out of poverty one and a half billion people for this money. The probability of the terrorist incident involving um, weapons of mass destruction in the next five years is about 6%, in the next 10 years almost 20%. I think this is something that cannot be neglected. We need to go far beyond the agreement of the New START treaty between the United States and uh, Russia, and uh, we need to engage all other nine countries that possess nuclear weapons, and in addition those who are not uh, members of uh, the uh, non-proliferation uh, treaty. And uh, in order to be able to, um, uh, to use these opportunities, I think what is needed is a real transformation of the economic system, because the crisis we are facing today uh, will inevitably consume a lot of energy and not a lot of concerns and a lot of finances of uh, the current uh, world. In order to do it optimally, we might need to change the economic system.